Hey everybody, it's the Brick Studs here, and we got another review video for here for you today. What is that? The cell phone. Get the cell phone out of here. You know the rules. Sorry about that, folks. What are we reviewing today? The Lego Trash Compactor. Don't look. He looked. He didn't know we were reviewing today. The Lego Trash Compactor. What's the set number? I actually have no idea on this one. I haven't got to pay attention on this one. 75339. What's the piece count? I have no idea. I don't know if I haven't looked. 802. 802 pieces. It's an 18 plus set. This is one of the Lego dioramas that released. When did it release? Day the 4th? I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping that you do. Is that right? I have no idea. So it did release on April 26th for correct order, but so basically, basically May the 4th weekend, and he got the, all the little- Yeah, I remember that. It was, for, it was for the May the 4th release, but it did release April 26th. How much did it cost? $89.99. So $90 for this. It's an expensive set. It is a very expensive set, but it doesn't seem like there's much to do with it, but that's not the point. This is a diorama for you to look at and enjoy and reminisce about the first time you saw the trash compactor scene. The box on it has just a very back, like most of these sets do, has some little scenes from the movie, kind of showing you the, what the functions are. It shows where it's supposed to be put on a coffee table. Yep. 10 inches, no, not 10 inches, four inches tall and eight and a half inches wide or long. Long, yep. Long. Because we do inches here. But for everyone else around the world, it is 10 centimeters tall and 22 centimeters. Enough talking about the box. We're here to see the Lego. So I should probably get started building this. I'm building this, right? Yep. Okay. I should start building this. We shall see you very soon. All right, time to open up this box. Oh. Guess the instructions weren't back. We got one. Two, three, four numbered bags, a small bag for number two, three extra plates, the four bags here, and then the instruction book. Let's get started. And it's finished. The place where our heroes will meet their certain doom. The Wait, trash no. compactor room. They survive. Spoilers. If they haven't seen this movie that's on them. Why don't you just talk about the characters? <laughs> I will. So, first character off is we have Princess Leia. Now, Miss Princess Leia, she looks really good. She got she got double face. She has one face where she's like kind of squinting or kind of like mad, like oh no, what's happening? And one face where she's kind of smirking, like it's more determined. It. it really is. And they've done a really good job detail on her back. Like you, could, you could good job on her back. There's the hood where she has her little hood up. So they kind of put that on there. The little belt that she has, obviously her white dress, and then her hair in her specific little cinnabon things. Uh, that's <sighs> awesome, <laughs> awesome character. Moving on to Chewbacca. This Chewbacca, to me, is... I mean, he's pretty detailed. He's got, like... It's not just, like, a super one color. It's got the dark brown and then the, the kind of, like, lighter brown. Lighter fur. You can kinda, see his face. Yeah, you see his face, eyes, teeth, nose. 
Um, he has the, the bandolier on his back, and then plus he has the, the little hair on his leg. So that's kind of interesting that, that, they, that they did that. It's a nice touch. He's also holding the pole that we'll you know discuss later what it does. If you've seen the movie, you know what it does. Spoilers. <clears throat> then you have Han Solo, who's got a blaster. Pew, 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 pew. He is also double-sided face. He's got the same face like, mm, what's happening? And then, uh, haha, we beat it, kind of face. The Nerf Herder face. The Nerf Herder face. He's obviously wearing his Stormtrooper costume. Not much to really talk about the Stormtrooper costume because it looks exactly the same as costume. all the other. It's armor. Stormtrooper armor. In the movie, it's a costume. So, Stormtrooper armor, excuse me. But they don't have their helmets. I don't, I don't think they have their helmets. They left them inside the thing, so it makes sense why they don't have their helmets. Or the boring conversation was anyways. Then you got Luke Skywalker. He's got like that... Now I've noticed that over the years, Luke Skywalker's hair has gotten from less lighter, like, t like blonde, to more of like a dirty green blonde, which kind of makes sense in the movie. He wasn't really like a super light blonde, I guess. Yeah, so I that guess that kind of makes true. sense where they're doing that. He's also double-sided face. He has more of a face, just like I'm sad, and then a face like, "Yeah, hey, we beat it." <laughs> he has a blaster too, and as well as he is in Star Trooper costume. Uh, armor. Armor, Star Trooper armor, I'm sorry. Armor. Then you've got R2-D2. This R2-D2, from me personally, he is actually really detailed. Even from like, he actually looks like the one that we built right there, and from the movie. He's got everything he really on the head, he's got the little, I guess like purple light on the front and back. He has the little like antenna that pops out. All the little trinkets and weird like, could you imagine if those were stickers? I can. I would. I would. I'd quit. <laughs> he has little things that pop out. I mean, this R2 dude, honestly, just the painting and everything is. They did a really good job on him. Yeah. They made his, his head like dark gray, which kind of makes sense. It's not like a chrome because he's kind of older at this point. He's not super shiny. It's more of a dark silver. Then you got C3PO. This C3PO, every, and again, over the years, C3PO seems like he has been getting more and more detailed. Every time we get a new version of him. They either give us wires, which he has in the front and back. He's got like the red and you know wires that are exposed. He has the chest plate, the back plate. There's the more detailed on the arms. The, ar the arms are actually super detailed with like the little plating on the sides. And then actually when you go further down, he's got the wires that go down to his legs and his feet, but he's missing gold. It's like now it's like silver that the gold is wearing off. Kind of like in the movie how he had that. Yeah. So. That makes sense why they did it, but I, I, I haven't seen a sweet three peel like that. Well, have sense. you seen how he walks? Like mm -hmm. he, I, I mean, you, no one would have gold down there anymore. Probably not, but I think that's cool. I mean, every time we get a new sweet three peel, they add something different on him, and that's what they did. That is the six characters to this set. Now, I'll talk about the trash compactor, the iconic movie scene. It's right here. We're done. <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> What are the features? Why is it there? What happens in this thing? Because they haven't seen I the movie yet. I don't know. I just built it. He's fired. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This, I do like the trash compactor. Now, this is a diorama, so it is supposed to, it's not really like a, a play set. It's more of just something to be looked at, you know, something to be marveled at. That's why there's so much detail. There is a lot of detail in this set. As you're going down to the front, it says Lego Star Wars, and then, what does it say? What's his quote? One thing's for sure, we're gonna be a lot thinner. That's upside down, by the way, and I was able to read that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Who says that? Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> so the cool thing about this set is, like we said, it is a diorama. It's supposed to be a very well detailed set piece like the movie scene and you can tell based on how the walls are built i do like how they they're a lot smoother unlike normal lego sets where you allow all the little connector pieces they went ahead and smoothed out all the walls all along the set you have the door right here in the center now, the door does not move up and down but i do like all the little lights on it and the little x mark that the door seems like it's locked right now. And these walls, as you're going on the door everywhere, there's mud. 
So you can see like the steel or whatever metal they use to build the trash compactor is all covered in mud in different spots. It's kind of caked on there. Nasty trash. As you get down closer to where the trash compactor is, I don't know why there's water in there. There is that creature that lives in there, but I don't know if the water is for him or if it's just stuff like condensation, but you do have the water pieces mixed in with mud and sludge and, and you have very miscellaneous um, mechanisms and gizmos and just broken down pieces of machinery all stretched throughout the trash compactor, which really makes it come alive, makes it seem super disorganized here. There are several different platforms to place the various characters on. What are you doing? I just fixed those little... Don't. You break things, you don't touch the things. So as you place them all down, you have a spot for Princess Leia when she's screaming that they're not gonna get out of there. You have uh, over here on the, on the left hand side, you have a spot where Luke is laying as he's sitting in the water after he gets attacked by that creature. And you do have the eye of that creature. I'm assuming that's the, that's eye. the eye. I do kind of wish that they made it more like a flat piece, kind of like the thermal detonator with, with the eye on it. They did give you this little red bulb, but I think the thermal detonator would have been a lot cooler. And then you have a spot over here for um, Han Solo to stand. And then they have Chewie placed at the door where he'd be standing with the big pole. I do like though how they implement the trash, all little little droid pieces they've got in there to simulate it is trash and the little piles of it. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. And they, how they did that. Like I said, they do a very good job of making it feel like mm -hmm. the trash compactor room. And it has a really, really cool feature. <gasps> no. What? It's a trash compactor. So? What, what, a trash compactor does this. Well, thank you for ruining it for everybody. There you go, that's what it does. It goes How far does it go? So when you squeeze these together, now you can, you can kind of reenact the scene where it's going, they go, 3PO! 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 Then they get squished because they don't actually get them. But it does stop right there. And you, you know why it stops right there? Because the timer always stops on one. You can put the pole in there and make it stop, and you're like, oh look, we're safe! 3PO, we live! Yeah, it is a very nice touch that the the pole that they use mm -hmm. is the exact length that it's not the exact, but you well, can it's, turn it's it close. sideways. It's close. Yeah, it's close. But if you remember, it was kind of crushing it. Mm -hmm. They were trying to stop, so I'll give it to them right there. I say yeah. it's 100% accurate. And I gotta, I gotta say, when it's super crushed and close together, it does look like the trash has been like super pushed and smushed. And they keep it going with these smooth pieces that make it look like steel. And the, because this is the whole room, there's little bits of water and mud coming up through the doors that are, or not the doors, but the walls that come together to crush it. And on the back side, you have these brackets that look like they're holding the walls up in place and too bad it doesn't squeak. I wish it kind of squeaked and groaned. There would have been, been a cool nice little sound brick or light brick but overall I do like this. You forgot one major part and this scene there is there are two characters in here now are they on the other side of the door? I was getting to that. No they're not on the other side of the door but they had to implement it Kind of like that they would be. So they're in another room on the other side is where they'd be sitting there trying to turn off the trash finder. Now, I do feel like where R2 sits on, on this little stand back here, it's a little bit too tall for him. I would personally like to move the little computer. And now it's not a sticker piece. The computer, it's got the little insert for him to Put, what is it his little key little key in there sure. but it is too high in my opinion I kind of don't like that but still I like that it's not a sticker piece now was this set the trash factor worth the how much was it, like 89.99 I think 89.99 so 90 dollars was, was it worth that much money I'll say yes I mean normally I would say no 
But he always says no. With this set being as detailed as it is, with where them pulling out all the stops on the characters and the trash compactor feel and the type of set that this is, I would say yes, it's worth the $90. Any, any collector should have it on their shelf. I mean, it's a diorama, so you get them all the great display pieces. Um, it's the characters themselves would be great display pieces. And you wouldn't want to miss out on this one if they release more dioramas. It'd be really cool to have them all in, your, a, in a row on a shelf. All your movie scenes. I feel like yeah. these are going to continue. So, if you haven't picked one up yet, go to your local Lego store or lego.com or anywhere you have it and buy anywhere it. Anywhere that sells Lego. Yep. Buy it, build it, keep it. We don't care what you do with it, but I highly recommend Throw it. it. Throw it. I highly recommend this Lego, but as well as don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, as well as hit that bell icon for more content when you when it releases. Because we will be releasing more content. We will. I and have seen the schedule. We did know, and you guys have said, that we were to, we like to see more Star Wars Legos, and we will be doing a lot of the Star Wars Legos, and as well as when the new ones release. Oh, we're yeah. going to be doing those ones like early August. Early August, and we're going to pump those out. So hit that bell icon for those videos. And until ready? next time. You can finish your sentence. You can finish your sentence. I made the force be with you. Always. <laughs>